Might be a walleye. The old waller, baby. Good it does look like some lunch, doesn't it? Oh, that's an ugly fish, man. Let's see how big her walleye here is. Perfect. 17 and a half. Time to do some trollings. Now this way. I can kind of keep my eye on this graph unit. I can see the grass and see the depth. It seems like these fish have been out a little deeper. All right, Dad, we're going to do some trolling, so right. you know what to do. I do. Cast that thing out behind the boat. There you go. Got some walleyes on the point here. Got him? Oh, yeah. Feels like a walleye. Oh, that looks like another keeper. Coming up, coming up. This is the edge of the grass right here. That's the juice, the edge of that grass. So you don't have to do anything with your rod except hold it out. I'm controlling everything with the boat. I'm gonna switch sides though. Grass is a good sign though. Mm-hmm. Give her a go next to the bald eagle's nest. The goal is we're gonna try to find this little grass line and stay on it. It's coming up. Already? Well, it kind of jumped. Actually, I think he might be over. Okay, he's just sitting there. Just, just a dead noodle. It's a gnarly looking That's creature. A he just wedges me up. Ah. All right, let's throw him back. Back to business. Just part of it. Fish on. I think it's a walleye. No surge. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> no it's surge. Just, it's just softness. Oh boy. Boy, these things, yeah. It's another waller. Yeah, why do you have a boat full of tackle when you can just throw a crankbait out there and give it a troll? You could have a whole cooler full. Too bad you can only carry one. Oh yeah, I can see him on the graph unit. Good tough. job, Dad. Must be tons of them in here. LFDs hooked up. It just feels heavy. Really? Real heavy? That's a doozy of a walleye. Big walleye. Biggin. Look at that. That is a big one, Dad. This is a PB. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is a PB. This is for sure. Oh my god. You see this guy. Bring them on Jeez. up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come here. Give me that big old face. Oh, man, Dad. Look ah. at that wall right, baby. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a giant. It's 24. LFD with a PB walleye. Nicely done. Uh, yes. Look at that thing. That's 24 inches long. That's as big as a nine pound bass. This is as big as I've ever caught. Let's put him back. Yeah. Let him go. God, he's got all these toothy things. Oh, look at his eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thing big. Yeah, let's see. Oh, not very graceful. I mean, those re LFD releases are classics. <laughs> and you caught it by oh, yourself, that's, trolling. That's a PB for me. <laughs> Anytime you're around this kind of water, that little swim bait like that with a little quarter ounce head, just burn it. Mm. A lot of stuff will eat that right there. It's a good surge bait for you. Oh, we might be done. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good ride, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's just part of the deal. This is all about today's video. Hit the boulders for some smallies. Come out here on the points. Dangle your cricket down there. Get a couple of walleyes. These are ugly, but they're 
the best freshwater fish I've ever had. You can only keep two a day, and the, I, that's two of the perfect size because they they have to be. Uh, I think it's 13, at least 13, but no bigger than 17 and 0.6. All good things must come to an end. Yeah, unfortunately. Yes, Canada, we've enjoyed this. We will continue to come up here. Uh, we enjoyed staying at the uh, the cabin with our buddies, uh, Ted, Steve, and Drake. Um, it's been a good time up here, and it always leaves us wanting to come back for more. You've got a nice resource. Take care of your bald eagles. Woo-wee! Cheers. To summer. And walleyes. And walleyes. walleyes. Gonna get amazing. golden crispy. Instead of being selfish, me and dad thought, why not? Let's bring back some of our walleyes since we got the sportsman's license this year. So how cool that we get to cook up the fish that we caught on our trip. Yes. Isn't that pretty cool? Golden nuggets from the north. Golden crispies of the north. We get to share them with our wives. So it's going to be pretty neat. I'm going to walk you guys through the process as usual. Well, what I'm going to do here is get the oil going. Yeah, that's, for, that's step one. Yep. Got to get this oil hot. You want to go do traditional or do you want to do our little spicy recipe? Uh, I think we do. Let's do, let's do traditional. Tonight. Okay, let's do traditional because you know, we got the girls with that, us. That's right. But it was good. God, I know it. We like to use cast iron pots here at the uh, the Rackley household, and we heat that up. Dad's got this cool little deal out here that he can cook his fish on, not get the whole place greasy. And it's in the outdoors. It's got moss growing on it. It's kind of neat. You got a little propane burner underneath that. Is it gonna explode? Oh. There we go. How do you know when grease is really hot? When it starts to kind of tinkle. 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 It, it makes a noise. It's kind of a tinkle noise. Tinkle pops? Yeah, you know, it's time to get the fish. Okay, well, I'm get your AARP card out of the way. <laughs> All right, I know you hate to be on video. Just kidding. We have the golden crispies of the north. Can we get a shot of that OSG? Ooh. I know this is kind of, this is where we bond right here, <laughs> is in the kitchen. Is in sometimes the kitchen. I'm filming you, sometimes you're filming me. Especially on the It's a good trade off. Cuts. This is an extra special catch and cook because we caught these in Canada. Now we're back here and you get to eat them because I think these are the best freshwater <laughs> fish filmer. She's, oh. getting, she's like trying to get up in your dress for some reason. <laughs> she loves OSG. She, she wants to get to up her. there. Me and dad had the sportsman's license up in Canada, which means we could take back across the border four walleye a piece. So I've got a set that we're gonna cook later, babe, at home. All right, and we've got a set that. right here. You have to legally keep the skins on, so if you get checked, uh, the game warden or DNR, or whatever they call it up there, can see that it's actually a walleye, so you can claim it uh, coming across the border. So first thing we gotta do is take these off. And we caught the most perfect walleyes. So all these are like 17s. They're 17 to 17 and a half, basically. So they came out super good. I'm just gonna cut this skin off. It's really rough. Do you want to touch it, honey? Do I want to touch it? Yeah, it's it's really rough. I don't know if you can see it. But run your skin, your finger Ooh. that way. See how feel how rough that is? Yeah, that's it's a like, true fish scale. Yeah, yeah. Fry those up like that. A pretty good size. It looks good to me. All right, these were in 14. They were so easy to catch. Me and Daddy didn't even fish for them that much, but every time we came across a point and got into like 12, 14 feet of water, boom, they were there. It's gonna be good, y'all. The tinkle, the tinkling. So, what kind of batter are we rocking today, Dad? Now this is your mother's special. A little cornmeal. She corn. likes to do cornmeal. Cornmeal uh, with a little salt and pepper. She likes them lightly battered. Just nothing, just, just straight up off off the skinning. There we go. Into the batter, into the grease. We had a great time. It was like all species. We've stuffed ourselves all week with walleyes. That's right. And they are awesome. But I haven't had them in the cornmeal. We had a little special blend up there, so this is gonna be mom's traditional catfish recipe. Try it on the walleyes. And if I had to describe walleye, if you guys have never had it, I'm a mix between crappie and catfish. Yep. You know, it's got the like the tenderness and the whiteness of a crappie, 
but the meatiness of a catfish, but without the taste. So it's kind of a mix between the two, which it's the best freshwater fish I've ever had. Hey guys, when they start to float like that, they're pretty much ready. Scoop them out. Those do look good. Those look right. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. You're good at cooking, Dad. Thank you. I'm you are. I'm a successful eater as well. <laughs> oh, golden crispies of the north. They smell sweet. Well, they do. It should be good. All right, girls. We've prepared. Easy. Take your little grubby hands off it. Just now, hang on a second. All right, I want to explain. You don't call your mother grubby I'm, hands. I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> These walleye, they come from the north, the north okay. country. Okay. They live in cold water, so they're real tasty. Mm. And uh, they have ice on top of the lake for a lot a lot of time of the year. Mm -hmm. So it makes this, this meat very tender. All right, it just smells so, so sweet. They do, they smell delicious. This is your traditional, you, you guys aren't doing any ketchup or anything. No, we're this just... is your traditional recipe. All right, let's 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 have a... Can I just eat the dang fish? <laughs> mm, very good. Oh, me, I got a peach for you. What good. do you think? They're good. Mm. They're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about it, so what, do you, about what it. are you thinking? I'm thinking that your daddy didn't salt them. That's what happened. He yeah. didn't season them. <laughs> LFD made an error. Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Is the meat's very good. It has okay. a sweet flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's almost better that he did it that way, so you guys mm -hmm. can give a more realistic opinion on this fish. Yeah, it's thick, thick cut, but very light. How do you think it differs from crappie versus white bass? It's not as flaky. Mm -hmm. True. Not as flaky, yeah. so more like and a catfish. lighter, a lighter taste. Lighter taste. Not yeah. a, not as fishy. But not, we're not big fans. Taste. We're big fans of crappie. Mm -hmm. We do like crappie. Yeah. That's... You think this is better than crappie? Mm, no. <laughs> we worked hard for them. We fished for them for ten minutes. <laughs> we can only keep two a day. Well, they came all the way from Canada, mm -hmm. all the way down here. To they Texas. did. They made a long journey for y'all. <laughs> all right, that is the honest opinions of the girls. Apparently, it needed more salt. Did you hear their reactions? No, I didn't. Did they? First thing mom said, she said, he didn't salt these. I didn't salt them. She was supposed to salt them. Well, we had a good time catching them. They're right. They are delicious. They really are. If you guys ever get the chance to go up there and catch them, take special treats in those things. The Golden Krispies of the North, I still think that they're the best freshwater fish out there except maybe the crappies that come out of Rainy Lake. It's a toss up between those two, but because of the location, they are delicious. Well, thank y'all for tuning in today for this special edition of a walleye catch and cook from Rainy Lake, Canada. And thank you guys for tuning in to all the Canadian videos. One of my favorite things to do all year, and I hope you enjoyed the series. I think we're gonna continue that tradition, yes? Yes. On that lake, it is a great week and we look forward to it every time. But now it's time to get back to the real world. At the tree house, doing work, and getting back to some other fishing videos. And I think I'm gonna head back up north, do a little bit more fishing with the Guggen Squad. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos, y'all. Hit the ding-dongs. I'm not sure what YouTube does these days, but I guess it does something if you click on it. You might get my videos. Either way, I appreciate and love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.